In this video, our focus is learning from defects. A defect is any clinical or operational event or situation that you would not want to happen again. Examples include an unsafe condition, a patient fall, a medication error, or infections. Questions you should ask when identifying defects include what happened? Why did it happen? How will you reduce the risk of the defect happening again? And how will you know the risk is reduced? It is important to make this conversation a part of your regular CUSP meetings. Each time you notice a defect, ask yourself these questions and bring it to your team for further discussion and evaluation. Henry Ford Hospital Director of Environmental Services, Jennifer Ritz, shares how her department identified and learned from defects. I consider a defect in environmental services not having a clean room, not using the proper PPE in a room that requires special attention prior to entering. We utilize CUSP to help us identify those defects, implement process changes, and then go back and evaluate them and make sure that what we've implemented is improving our defects. In an isolation room, we have to use different chemicals, if you will, for different types of isolation. So for example, a contact plus room requires a bleach cleaning because it's usually related to a C. difficile infection. And those spores are very difficult to get off of the environment. So we then use bleach to clean the room and in addition to that we use our UV technology which does its treatment inside the room. We created a process here at Henry Ford Hospital to determine if our rooms are genuinely clean. We go into a room and we put some fluorescent goo on the walls in different high touch points and then the housekeeper cleans the room and then we come back with a black light to determine if they did hit those spots because they're invisible to the naked eye but that's the only way we can test for defects. And the great thing about the black light program is if we do identify some glow in the room it's recleaned immediately and we show the employee look at what we found in here and they're a lot of times amazed to see the little glow germ inside the room so we try not to turn this into a punitive approach within our department all the environmental services leaders are required to perform a minimum of five black light audits per week this way we can have a sample that is statistically significant so when we do look at these deficiencies or defects we have enough data to support why we have to change our educational approach or our training approach. The team at Henry Ford Wyandotte Hospital developed a process for C. diff cleaning. Environmental Services Manager Amy Stromick shares more. So one of the outcomes from the system SRT initiative that I say and I'm for CDF was the standard operating procedures and CDF cleaning. And I rolled this out to my staff, the two-step process, to ensure that we were taking the precautionary measures to keep everybody safe as our employees, patients, families, visitors. Once they go in the room, perform whatever task that is necessary to take care of the room, they will then remove their personal protective equipment before leaving the room and also perform hand hygiene. The shift leads will go in and they will audit a room once it's been cleaned. If they see any deficiencies, they will in real time educate the staff member, ask them to come back, correct the deficiency, and then at that time the staff member is aware of their deficiency and hopefully moving forward won't make the same mistake. I feel that our staff feel comfortable in raising any concerns to us because of the fact that we have, they have brought things to our leadership team and they have seen things be taken care of and their ideas be put into place.